Luke was around eight weeks old, he was quickly adopted by a nurse who lived in the neighborhood not too far from me. She was still working at the time and needed someone to take care of her little dog when she wasn't there. Since I was fostering his brother Sam, she had asked me if I would also take care of Duke as well. Of course I said yes, since it would give the twins the chance to play together before Sam finally got adopted. Something that caught my attention was she kept sweet little Duke in an outside pen when she was home. No matter what the weather was, he was stuck all alone in that pen for the first 18 months of his life. The only times he ever got out was when I was puppy sitting him or if the weather was just too bad in my opinion to leave him in there. Otherwise, he was left in his pen without any form of physical human contact from her whatsoever. She did give him home cooked food, good treats and plenty of water, yet not once did I ever see her attempt to pet him, touch him play with him or take him out of his pen at any time. She would just leave him in there all alone to entertain himself. When I asked her about all of this, she simply stated that she didn't want a dog in her house. What could I say in response to this? If I would have been rude to her, then Duke would have suffered. I would have no longer been allowed to puppy sit him and give him a somewhat normal life. Fast forward to October 2018. I had gotten sick with the flu and was still scheduled to puppy sit Duke anyway. His owner was working double shifts at the time and didn't want him unattended. Since a cold front had come through at the same time, I decided to keep him in my house and take care of him until I got better. Everything was going as planned until my mom got sick not long after I got better. So Duke ended up staying over a bit longer than I had intended. Two months and several cold fronts later, Duke had managed to make himself right at home. He had picked his favorite sleeping spots and enjoyed having the full run of the house. He didn't have to worry about the weather as long as he was staying with me. I knew I'd, I'd eventually have to bring him back to his rightful owner. I just didn't expect what happened next. It was around Christmas of 2018 when Duke's owner came over to the house. I thought she had finally come to pick Duke up and bring him home after the two months I had him in my house. Instead of her taking him back, she announced that she would be retiring and moving out of the neighborhood and into an apartment that didn't take dogs. Since she couldn't bring Duke with her, she was leaving Duke with me. I would effectively become his new owner. Duke has always seen me as his mama, but this news just made it official. Duke had finally gotten his true forever home with my mother and me, the family he had always wanted, and we couldn't be any happier to have him in our lives.